The Laura Ingram Show. Are you surprised the lack of presence of Michelle Obama? I think she's a very appealing persona. Yet, when I think about First Lady, you just don't see her anywhere. You're listening to The Laura Ingram Show. That is the wisdom so informed of that political sage, Donnie Deutsch, who apparently is not aware of the obvious fact that Michelle Obama is always and currently is everywhere. Honored that she's here with us today for the first time on our show live. Please welcome our first lady, Michelle Obama. An Ellen exclusive, first lady Michelle Obama, only on Ellen. I know! I'm here with someone very, very special. The first lady, Mrs. Michelle Obama. I'm Nancy Odell on the White House lawn with an exclusive new interview with the first lady, Michelle Obama. Congratulations to all the nominees and winners of Cartoon Network's Hall of Game Awards. You just don't see her anywhere. The, the amazing thing about that panel discussion on Morning Joe that I apparently tortured myself with the wee hours of the morning as everybody else on the panel just nods and looks at Donnie Deutsch like he is just the most brilliant man who ever has spoken on television about cultural or political trends. Oh, that's a good point, Donnie. Yeah, you're right. She, she really is a different type of first lady. As far as a first lady, she's well, dynamic, she's, she's, she's got, bright. She's two young kids. Well, I, but still, she can do a lot. Thanks, I'm, I, I'm surprised of her lack of presence. Just given, if I was a marketer, I'd go, wow, Lack she's very appealing on a lot of levels. I, I, Disney's magic of healthy living. So did you get your 60 minutes in today? Oh, thanks for reminding me. I still have five minutes to go. Gotta run. <laughs> yeah, I'd call that lack of presence. She, I love how he said she is an attractive persona. I, I, I'm... Maybe I'm just a kind of a throwback, but I always say she has a, an attractive persona. I think she's a very appealing persona. Persona. <laughs> this is, I'm nitpicky when I'm tired. Do you think Michelle Obama's been basically scarce in the media? As, as the MSNBC people have said, well, you, you can't really even find her in the media anywhere. She's just, she's not, she's not the traditional first lady who feels like she needs to be out there and seen so much. I don't know what these people are watching. It must be a different television than I'm, you know, I'm, I'm able to watch day in and day out. Are you surprised the lack of presence of Michelle Obama? You just don't see her anywhere. Can we talk about your arms? My arms? Your arms. Why, certainly. Wow, she's very appealing well, on a lot of levels. I, 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 Laura Ingram Show. It's not like a lot of first ladies that get in there and they're, there's, there's this political uh, game drives them. She has seemed to be, to be apolitical from the beginning. Will your husband ever give up on trying to find a compromise in health care? You know, we're, we're already seeing premiums going up for people who do have insurance, and there are still millions of Americans that are underinsured or uninsured. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. Definitely, definitely never political. Oh, my. Why are these people afraid of criticizing Michelle Obama? Are they are just afraid? And Joe Scarborough has to know better. That's what I, I really think he knows better. I think the pressure when you get in a place like MSNBC, the pressure to conform to the elite point of view, it's not personal. Michelle Obama is a liberal and she's pushing for liberal things. And I mean, it's not, not a surprise to me. It's, it's not something to condemn her for personally. That's what she believes in and that's what she wants. OK, just stop pretending there's something else going on here. Stop, stop pretending that she's not political. Of course she's political. She is the most effective weapon for a president who needs to get reelected with an approval rating that Gallup has at 
You don't think there's any little coincidence that Michelle and Jill Biden are trotting around the the country, the set of the view, and and suddenly there's this big push for military families? I'm sorry, may you call me cynical, but it's an election year. And if Laura Bush had been as intimately involved in policy, not just literacy and encouraging reading, but policy, using her position as first lady to lobby Capitol Hill for, as Michelle said, billions of dollars in money for these things like the child nutrition reauthorization bill. I urge both the House and Senate to take their child nutrition bills to the floor and pass them without delay. Oh, okay. Anything else? <laughs> the president looks forward to signing a bill this year. I'm, I'm not saying she said it in this tone. That's just my own theatrical interpretation of the written statement that Michelle Obama had released on July 15th, 2010. On the surface, it's all, oh, how great. She's doing the garden and who, who couldn't be for healthy eating. And of course, she's for military families. Fantastic. Remember when she was appearing with, uh, was it Barbara Boxer at the military base out in California? Remember that? Oh, what was that all about? Well, to get Barbara Boxer reelected. Oh, but it was a military families event. You're listening to The Laura Ingram Show, peeling back the onion, pulling back the curtain. I think she's a very appealing persona. First Lady Michelle Obama, then... Sometimes it's easier to hold on to your own stereotypes and misconceptions. It makes you feel justified in your ignorance. (laughs) That's America. And now... The country that I know is positive and fair, and there's so much of that out there that it's very easy to kind of push that other stuff aside and not not take it in. It's, It's easier than you'd imagine. You're listening to The Laura Ingram Show. Well, you get, you get the point. I mean, it's the first time I'm proud to be an American to doing this huge embrace, you know, embrace of military families. It's been quite an evolution for Michelle Obama, and I'm, I'm thrilled about it. Oh, look, she's... I don't think there's any coincidence about the timing of this cross-country tour with Jill Biden. I just... How could there be any coincidence? You, you all are cynics out there. <laughs> 